Uh, good morning. Okay. Uh, well, it's um, I don't know six six in the morning. I've been up uh, for a while, um, mm. and uh, working on this. Now, a couple things to straighten out. I I, I got the uh, as you heard on the last uh, episode vlog whatever um, that you know I'm getting that lick pretty well on. Uh, I think feeling pretty good with that. Um, now I'm just kind of working through the structure this morning. It's Wednesday morning. I'm trying to work through the structure. I got to record this either today or tomorrow, trying to get it all together. It is a lot. I got to say it's a lot. But uh, so what I'm doing now, now I got that lick. Now I'm going to start working through the structure. So I play through it a few times. Um, uh, so I'll do, uh, uh, so, so like the, the intro is... Uh, Uh, G sharp to A sharp, and then the C to C sharp. And a, and a, okay. By the way, I found that I had the uh, uh, okay. So the next part of the verse, sorry. And that, that's just an octave. So instead of so you notice he does his octave G sharp instead of here, he does it up here. The reason I think so he can slide better, you know. And plus it's got a little fatter sound. All right, and then um, then we go into this uh, uh, this pre-chorus I'll call it, which is an F sharp, and and he's hitting opposite the snare. So the snare is kind of. We have that click. You can kind of hear how this goes. Let me get my click up here. And, um, yeah. So I got it kind of. Okay. Hear that? So. This little um, uh, so it's F sharp, then F, then to A sharp, and to G sharp. Now, the reason why I don't call that, by the way, uh, just for you know, um, music purposes here, theory purposes, uh, we don't call you know, the G is going to be the G sharp, not the A flat. In other words, in a key, they're all going to be flats or all going to be sharps, so you just and you have to have one of each note all right so technically you would have um, that's why sometimes you you know in, in some of these crazy keys you'll see e double flat uh, which is actually a d or i'm sorry is a, a, a e, e sharp you know which is an f but <laughs> because you already have a d sharp then yeah so anyway enough of that okay so here we go so f sharp to f i'm calling it f today okay and then we go, then we go to A sharp, okay, 13th fret, then, then uh, 11th fret of the uh, A string, which is in a G sharp. And then we go down to the C sharp and hammer on from the C to the C sharp. So. that a different way, you know, and then you just do the same thing. So I, this is where I'm, I'm kind of like listening to his different percussive fills and trying to get something a little more, you know, closer to what he's doing, just so you can get an idea exactly what he's doing. So... So, you know, this, this is probably something for another slap lesson to keep it from going so long. Uh, but one of my uh, subscribers mentioned doing this as a slap lesson or turning this into a slap lesson, which I'm happy to do. So uh, it is definitely fun. The, the problem with slapping is it's a fun thing to do. 
picture or not. It's a fun thing to do, but it um, you don't do it very often. That, that's why I think worship leaders get irritated with it because you uh, because bass players want to do it, and so they try to fit it in different places where it really isn't welcome. But we try to do it anyway, and I, I, I get that. Um, so. But here it's very welcome because it's part of the song. Isn't that cool? All right, so now you just got to get your worship leader to do this song, okay? So. And by the way, I was doing this wrong yesterday, so or in the last, whatever the last ones were, as I looked, I'm like, that's wrong. So, so. Okay, so it's F sharp. So then there are these, just these little fills. Uh, let me, let's go back to the next verse because there's a little lick he does there. And then he does this. Okay, so that is, is just, once again, they're all pentatonic, all box kind of patterns. Uh, this is a very percussive kind of groove. And, uh, you know, the slap stuff is a lot of, uh, same thing, it's a lot of pentatonic, but it's mostly in the right hand, left hand coordination of, of you know, doing these percussive hammer-ons and hitting these, the, all the timing correctly. That's the crazy thing about slap. Okay, so you're thinking like a drummer, really. You're doing things that drummers do with your hands, okay? Um, so this little lick here in this second verse is... So you're hammering on D sharp to F, and then uh, A sharp or G sharp to A sharp, and pulling off, and then back to F, and then back to G sharp. So we do it. Here on the right hand, we're plucking, and then so two plucks, and then another pluck. So that's that's the gist of that part there, and then uh, there's another part that we'll do later. But uh, that's it. So I'm gonna try to come back and do another one. But getting there now with this uh, with this lick, you know, there's another lick at the end. He does these slides or whatever. So I'm still trying to figure that one out. Uh, but we got this other one that we did yesterday and the, the one before, so. Uh, now I'm getting the other two mixed up. Uh, well, I'm just going to come back to that. So, yeah. All right. So, uh, that's it for today. <laughs>